This right here is my hydroponic cloner. And it literally is nothing fancy. Now you can see now these these have been in probably a couple weeks longer than it should, but it's still growing quite well. And all this really consists of this is you can buy uh, cakes. The matter of fact, this one is for cheesecakes. The the cake ones are even taller, and I covered it in foil to keep the light off the roots. I filled it with plain rainwater, and then took the cuttings which were started off about this high and stuck it in these sure to grow pucks and as you can see, see I said I've left them in a little bit too long you can see I've got root systems on all these plants so you don't really need to have some $400 system in order to make clones of your plants first thing we're going to have to consider is the type of container that you're going to use to build your cloning system. There's all kinds of containers and stuff that you can buy in the stores. All of these will be suitable for making your own cloner. But today I'm going to use one of my favorite things, something most people would just throw away. And that's these neat cake containers. You go to the store and you buy yourself a cake. Comes with a neat little container. Now I love using these rectangular ones as a greenhouse. And I tell you, ask your friends and family, and they'll supply you with plenty of equipment. This part's clear, and you're going to need to cover it in some way. Now, some people will just simply rough it, rough the surface up and spray paint it black. That's fine, that works. That is if you if you really want to take the time, rough it up, paint it, wait for it to dry, simply take the clear part of the container and wrap it in aluminum foil. This will block out all the light. And then just take some duct tape or something, tape it on there. You're not going to be moving around a lot, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to have anything heavy duty. You just want to keep the light out. The next part we'll deal with would be the bottom of your cake container will now be the top of your, your cloner system. You take your, well in this case, it's a sure to grow plug and you just put your clone in there and insert it in your system. Oh, there's neoprene ones and uh, the rooter type ones that are made out of bark or something. Those work too. It just anything that you want to use. This is your system, and you want to make your system fit your needs. And you can cut. Oh, I put like eight holes in there. You can put as many or as few as you want. Of course, the more that you cut out, the weaker this is going to be. Now, this is pretty flimsy plastic. The good thing about it is, it's really easy to cut. Just get a an exacto knife or something. Uh, just this little disposable one here and you just cut it out uh, or you can poke a hole and just use scissors and cut the holes out. You want to make them slightly smaller than whatever you're going to be using to hold your clone. Now once you have the holes drilled to hold your cloner plugs, you're going to need to poke a, a small hole, oh, probably right in the middle is usually a good spot. And that's where you're going to run the tubing from your aquarium pump. Now if you want, you can actually put an air stone on the end of it. Once you stick it through the hole, you put the air stone down in there. And that'll be nice. Now I've actually used a cloner just by sticking the hose straight in and no stone needed. It will work that way. Now there's all kinds of chemicals and fertilizers and little additives and stuff that you can put in your system. If you want to use that, that's perfectly all right. It's your system, you run it the way you want. The only thing I'd really recommend is maybe you get yourself uh, some Rutone or this is a, some a gel starter. Uh, it can come in gel form or powder form. They both work about the same. Now as far as the actual procedure goes for cloning, 
what you'll do is you'll take your cutting that you want to clone. Tomato plants are particularly nice because you can use suckers. And you want to clear off part of the stem. Enough stem that you can get it into your either your rapid rooter or whatever you happen to be using. And you clear that away. Then at the very bottom, you take and cut at a 45 degree angle. And some people even like to scrape a little bit off on the outside. And you'll take that and put it in either your cloning gel or your powdered rutone, whichever you want to use, and simply place it in whatever type of plug you're going to be used. Just make sure you have a little bit sticking out there on the bottom and place that directly in your cloning system. You'll also want to have a spray bottle handy and you'll want to mist the cuttings two or three times a day kind of keep them from drying out. You'll only have to do that probably for the first two or three days. After that they'll start when they start getting their own roots they'll they'll be drawing up enough water on their own you won't have to do that anymore. As soon as three days uh, you might start to see some roots coming out. Definitely by two weeks you ought to have pretty good root growth and it should be ready to go into a hydroponic system or plant directly into your garden. But if you have any questions put them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.